our plans. Why is he always going to make noise in my yard? Plans is to screw this behind the seat somewhere in there. We'll put the battery over there. It's a sealed AGM, so it's not going to vent bloody any fumes or nothing, hopefully. So that'll be in there. We'll strap it from that bolt to there's a seat bolt down here. We'll make a strap that'll lock that in. It'll be fine. All right, so we'll quickly run through what we're going to do. The blue wire that says output goes to your secondary battery. The red wire, which is DC input, if I can get my, there it is, DC input. That is from your main battery. And then we've got the black negative. It is a ground. Everything shares a common ground on this, including your solar input. So then your solar input feed, which solar input. That's the positive off your solar panel. And then you've also got an accessories wire. So that should be to your ignition, which I will confirm, but I'm pretty sure to your ignition. So when you turn your car on, this thing goes, hey, I'm awake. So that's those. Pretty simple. Just, there are your two inputs. So the main battery, solar, ground, accessories to turn it on and then main power to the positive on your secondary battery and then obviously the earth would be grounded to the body okay so we've run negative positive from the main battery which just because it was there it had anderson plugs on it used to be in the tray we've just come up through a grommet in the floor so that'll be our positive in which will be this one dc in and it just runs off the main battery so when your front gets to the right voltage this will be like yep and then put the power through from there so it'll pick up through this wire this is also on a resettable breaker in the engine bay just to be safe so that's that um, the negative will probably go onto the battery and then we'll go from there onto the body as well as this onto the body because this is the ground for the unit we chopped a little bit of this backing ply out around for the battery and now the seat can close i had to move my inverter it was a little bit close and pull this off but we've had ideas with that which you'll see in a bit so this closes locks in excuse the dog hair there's the battery we'll put a strap over it down there somewhere but that's all in behind the seat nice and stealthy anyone who's got issues with a battery in a cab i don't want to hear it but uh we're gonna get onto some wiring or maybe a strap and then some mounting and then some wiring oh and we bought a solar panel okay we've done a few things there is a strap on the battery the anderson plug which looks upside down but honestly if you ever go to put something in that's the way to do it i got a siggy usb fused white wire is negative it's getting pretty late so we haven't got the panel up on the roof we haven't done anything with the charger, the inverter's in, we need to earth the earth wire from the inverter to the body so no one gets electrocuted and dies. There we go. Alright, we are back. It's been, what, a week and a bit? The light coming through the back wall there is annoying me. So we got a new fuse block that's got a built-in uh, negative bus bar. So we're going to use that because that seems safer it's equally as unsafe or not worse I can't see the ones. do you want me to disconnect all this first before you do that probably why yeah let me do that first oh, i've only got 15 percent power this is not really a good day for videos or we'll just have to make sure we get it in one take all right so we have pretty well finished everything except for the accessories wire because we don't believe we need it for what we're doing. So it's just going to tuck up there out of the way. So we got our solar infeed, the positive from our panel, goes into the brown. Negative just went straight to the bus bar, same with everything else. Our output off the charge unit went straight to our secondary positive. We've got our mains positive and negative in. 
the red goes straight into there, the negative from the charge controller goes to the negative of our secondary battery as well as the negative from our start battery, which isn't really necessary, but we did it. We've also got a negative from our secondary, which goes down onto here. So everything is all earthed together, and then we've added some awesome accessories in like a USB and a Siggy port thingy and an Anderson plug thingy. But we just need to put a cap over here, but that's pretty much installed ready to work. Except, one thing you need to know. Before you connect this blue wire, you need to set your battery beforehand, because once it's connected, you can't change it, because it's like a safety thing, so you don't bump it randomly while it's connected. So you gotta like, preset that. But, we've had it running, it's got lights on because there's that much charge in this battery. It's staying above 13.2, so it's not disconnecting from the main. Is it 13.2 or is it 12.8? It's 12.8, isn't it? Uh, reconnect at 13.2, disconnect at 12.8, I think. Yeah, so it disconnects at 12.8 12 volt, reconnects at 13.2. So there you go. That's all done. I'm sitting in the worst seat in the car. And so we're going to tidy up these wires. Um, I hope you sort of got a rough idea of how to put it together. It's pretty basic. Just, yeah, alter on. Mains in, solar in, mains out to secondary ground accessories that we don't appear to need. Oh, and put a solar panel on your roof. Yeah, we got a solar panel installed. Yeah, we did that. It's, oh, God. Sitting in here is terrible. Yeah. Don't worry about all this stuff. It'll blow off in the breeze when we start driving. But 80 watts, it'll be more than enough. Ugh. All right, can I do a zoom in here? Hey, where's your light? My phone's too flat. I figured I should finish off this video. It's been some weeks, but we're all in, running sweet, plenty of charge. So we got the solar panel hooked up and we've got our power on agm solar charge in and fully charged is our green light look at that so this is all we did put one strap there and then the seat sort of pushes up here anyway so it doesn't move around too much but we've got our little sockets usb and uh siggy socket it's all fused we've got an anderson plug and i can't remember if we put anything else in there but we sort of half neaten the wires up a little bit even though they're pulled out of the crimp it is what it is don't judge me too hard and the panel's up on the roof and that works good so excuse the dog hair there you go look at that charger in the back seat and everything <laughs> 